Are you happy it's over? Because I am. I'm very happy. It's a huge weight lifts off of you after this season, this crappy ritualistic bullshit is over with. So I'm happy it's over. I'm happy it's done. For another year anyway. Lord willing, we won't have to suffer it out another year. Next year. Oh, because I sure as hell don't want to suffer it again. I don't. And I call it suffering because it is. Chaotic events of people celebrating their humanistic, ritualistic bullshit. That's what it is. I, I can't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why, you know, why we're still here suffering it. I don't know. Can I give you an explanation? I can't. Our expectation, though, wouldn't be without it being from moment to moment. So the longer we're here, there's a purpose for it. <coughs> we have some illumination to give to them. Uh, and also the mem last member of the body of Christ is not in yet. Doesn't have a realization yet. So we can pray and hope for that, like real soon. I don't like that word, hope. Why do I even use it? An expectation is not a hope. It's a real thing. A hope is a delusion. No such thing as hope. I'll tell you the honest truth, there's none. Maybe for the world, but not for us. Our expectation is a lot closer than hope. Hope is a weak word, a weak human word. What do you hope for? Well, I hope I get my job. I hope I uh, get paid. I hope this and I hope that. Yeah, that's the world. That's not us. We have an expectation. And our expectation draweth nigh. What is your expectation, my friends? What is your expectation, my brethren? Your expectation is to be snatched away and meet our Lord in the air. That's exactly what the expectation is. Sin is done away with already. It's done. Christ himself done it. He done away with sin. Now it's just a moment of the end of this wicked eon where, we're, where everyone will realize at the consummation of all the eons that God is God and... He will reconcile them. I don't got a lot to say, do I? Not today. It doesn't seem like that. It's kind of a wind down from that miserable Yule event. Kind of a wind down, yeah. I'm glad I have a few days off. I have a week off here. So that's a good thing. I didn't bring a show yesterday. Because it was just exhausting after uh, all the other stuff was done. And like I said, I haven't been able to, uh, you know, focus a lot lately. But I want to get back to focusing on what I'm doing here. The whole purpose of me doing this show every day is to bring a, bring a topic. Bring something that's going to enlighten you as to the truth of God. So that's what I need to get back to. And it's coming back. God brings it back. He rejuvenates the spirit, gives it life again, gives it fuel that it needs. He does that with me. Which is nice because I'll tell you, it's hard going through this times these times of trial in the flesh on this earth and seeing around you the pain and suffering of humanity the world's not at peace with god they're not at peace with us we don't fight flesh and blood so we need to be peace at peace with them that's for sure because god's at peace with them 
that piece is soon gonna be removed. Once we're removed, that piece is gone. Temporarily, it's gone to adjust and correct. Because God is gonna adjust this world. He's gonna adjust everybody in it. They don't even know that yet. And I was thinking, you know, death will be abolished, yes. But the fear of death is worse than death itself. And human beings fear death. Every single one of them fear death. But those who know the truth do not fear it. We know the sting of death is not going to last. It's going to be abolished, all of it. Where, oh, death is your sting? The hardest part is for somebody living and their loved ones passing away or dying. That's the hardest part. You know, that'd be a good survey. Ask everybody, do you fear death? And get their response. The unbelieving world, that is. Because I could ask all my brethren on here, do you fear death? That's my question for you. Do you fear death? If you fear death, then you, you still don't hold on to the faith of Christ. <coughs> because fearing death is, is fearing the unknown. But you already know God. So he's not unknowable to you. They worship the unknowable God in the book of Acts. You can read it in Paul's day. Yeah. They worship the unknowable God. And they had fear. As it is with religion, fear teaching. Fear. Throw some fear in there. Throw some fear in there. Fear of God. And then they'll fear death. They'll fear God. And oh yeah. I'm just happy that God brought me through it. I knew it was going to be rough. And it's rough every year, but God brought me through it. He brought me through this season of paganistic, ritualistic bull crap. He brought me through. And that's the most important part. I love being with my family every day of the year. It's not one particular day that I do not love being with my family. My wife and son, no. I love it every day, every year, every year. Every day, every day, every moment of every day, God has ha has me here. I love being with my family, my wife and son. So it doesn't have to be a particular day for you to even enjoy anything. But I say, enjoy God. Enjoy his love. Enjoy your expectation. Because you know it's coming. A new moment, a new day, every day is your expectation. New, brand new, brand new. Outside of any kind of materialistic thing. Brand new in spirit every day. Rejuvenated in spirit every day. Every single day, be rejuvenated in spirit. Huge weight is lifted off my shoulders now, which is nice, and I can get back to study a little bit more and bring some uh, illuminating topics to you guys. Um, not, I don't have a lot to say today, as you can tell, I don't. But I got a week here, which is nice. I don't have to go back to work till Sunday, this coming Sunday, which is very nice because it gives me some time to rest and, and, and just relax my body, relax my brain, which is beautiful. I love you all. I, I, I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot to say, but I love you all. And uh, grace and peace to you.